Welcome to Lesson 18, Parametric Run. In this lesson, we will learn how to run and remove parametric scripts. So what is a parametric? A parametric is a script file that is written in Python, which automates the addition of material, or bolts, or holes, or welds, or other objects within the SDS2 model. This is something that can be written by the user. Of course this is basic training which means that uh, for the parametric class this would be a continuing education to learn how to write them. But what I want to show you here in this training is how to run a parametric script. There are a number of them that are already built into SDS2 that come with your install. So let's begin. I've added in the construction lines for this poor stop. We're going to go up here to our model drop down, then let's go to parametric, and I'm going to tear this menu off. Let's go ahead and select run. Now sometimes when you go to run, you will not be in the SDS272 data directory macro folder, but you'll be in the job macro folder. If that's the case, you just simply need to go back up until you get to the 72 data directory, and from there you can go into the macro folder, then go into the examples folder. Now, within this examples folder, you're going to see that there are many of these parametric scripts that have already been written for you. Let's go to the beam pour stop select open. Now I can import the defaults from disk. Now if there haven't been any created the system will automatically create some defaults right at the beginning and uh, when I come down here I can enter the file and I can browse so that I can select any saved defaults that I may have. We're just going to leave this as its default setting. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now the system is prompting me to select a member and now it's prompting me to select the bent plate left end point and the right end point. And now we have our screen. You'll see that there's an option here to save dialog box values to user disk file. You can tell the system whether you want this to be a shop or field applied. Let's go ahead and set this to shop. And you can set the sequence. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of these but what I would do is point out a few of these prompt fields for you. Uh, the setback because of our selection we can see that it's zero at the left end of that member and minus one foot six to the right which means it extends past for setback. Um, you'll see slab edge distance. This allows you to have pour stops that are at an angle. Bent plate dimensions. I have one foot five for the horizontal legs, six inches for the vertical. I'm going to have a thickness of a quarter inch plate. Vertical offset dimension, we're going to leave that at zero. Uh, this doesn't apply because this is for C's and Z's. Additional information, tow away direction. Uh, we can have the material grade and even the material color can be set. Let's look at the right end. As we saw earlier, we have the setback of one foot six, slab edge distance of one foot six, and then there's some script information here that you can change the horizontal leg minus dimension. That's in your script. Length options. We can have it continuous as one bent plate all the way across, or you can break it. You can set your maximum break. Now, a lot of times your break is at 10 feet, sometimes it's at 6 feet, depends on your shop machinery. And the minimum length break option is 1 inch here. Okay, cuts in the bend plate. Do you want to cope around the edge? Yes, you do. Half inch at the left end. Do I want a le left end vertical leg cut? No, I don't. Let's look at the right end. I'm going to cope around the outside of that but for the vertical leg I'm going to have a no. That's if you want to put a notch there in that leg. Closure plates. Left end? Nope. Let's go to the right end. Yes, I'm going to have a nested closure plate, one foot four and three quarters, and a height of five and three quarters. Of course there's additional information. I want to have a clip. I can have a clip or a cope here. Welding. How do I want the system to have the plate welded? Views. Now this applies to detail views. Now in SDS2 you can cut 2D views or you can cut views in 2D. 
You can also cut the views that are going to be created in the 3D model using member isolate mode. This parametric here allows you to choose which views you would like to have automatically added by this parametric. Studs or DBAs, you can go ahead and set your studs. And of course some images to give you some ideas of some corner cuts. There's where you would like to cut that top piece. Go ahead and select OK. And let's go ahead and just replace any of those views. You can run it again. Another run, same beam, same material on another beam, select another beam. We're just going to go ahead and select done. So we now see that we have a pour stop that's added in with your studs, coped all around the members with a closure plate. This was considerably faster than when we manually added it in. But the point is, the parametric is simply allowing you to add this material in with some script screens. Now, if I want to remove this, this is just material. So I can come in here, if there's something I don't like, I can simply delete the piece of material, stretch it. Once this parametric is run, you can modify this by using manual operations. I can come in here and I can select this and I can delete the stud or I can add in cuts. So once the parametric runs that material, there's nothing special about it. Now, there is an option for erase. If I go ahead and select the erase, you'll see that I now have the option to select that particular run parametric and go ahead and hit OK and say yes and it now removes that parametric. Now you don't have to use that erase option. You can manually erase it yourself if you would like to. So this is a brief look at what we call parametrics in SDS2.